This is Mike Morales. That's Alex Perez. <laughs> You're watching <laughs> Sipping Off the Cuff on tequilaaficionado.com. You thought you were going to fool me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we're back. We're back. We're tasting the third. They call it flavors. Flavors. They call it flavors. They call See, it flavors. who's writing your stuff? <laughs> who's a, who? Never the third, mind. The third expression. The third expression. The third from mark. The four, from the, and do you know this is a 1414? It is? Really? I just noticed that. That's Gnome 1414. It's one of our favorite distilleries. It is. It's one of my favorite distilleries. It's one of mine. Well, um, we already <laughs> went through the Blanco. You can, you can check back and see what the Blanco, what we said about the Blanco. You can check back and see what not, I said about that. We're not watching it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not watching it. Um, you know, you can check back and see what, what the, what we said about the Reposado. Now, Right now, the Blanco and Reposado are, as Alex said, miles apart. Yep. All right. This looks beautiful. This is the Añejo. This is the Añejo. From uh, De La Riva. De La Riva. And you can see it's a nice, deep, rich, golden color. This is more of the, of the color that I'm used to seeing, or we're used to seeing in a, in a, in a tequila. Wow. I'm not getting anything. No, it's, got a, it's got a nose. It's got a nose. It, yeah, the first two had a very prominent nose. Yeah, very, very aromatic. Yes. This one isn't as much. It's a little. It's a little muted. Okay, that's exactly. But it's, but it's still there. But we're have to dig in for it. We actually have to. I I gotta really get into it. I'm getting, I'm getting spiciness. Yeah, you definitely have some, some white spice or white pepper. White pepper, the caramel, which you're obviously getting from the wood. I don't drink it with your nose now, Mike. No, you'll see me do that very often where I, I will inhale these, you know, with my mouth open. And, and it, what it does, it allows me to actually taste the tequila before I actually taste it, because as we all know that the olfactory senses, the way they work, um, the majority of your, your taste um, actually is, is in your nose. And so you'll see me go from left to right, left brain, right brain. I'll do that very often. I know it's funny, but it works for me. You should try it because it might work for you. But I, I have to really dig to find, um, to find a, a, a nose on this tequila. It's it's certainly there, but as Alex said, it's it's muted. And and just for the sake of transparency, the, these bottles have been in in this area fifty one of ours, um, in in climate controlled, uh, an environment. So it hasn't been out in the sun. It hasn't been agitated. It's just been sitting here. So. You know, in the POS it says hints of chocolate. I just got a little touch of that. I gotta try it because I'm not I'm not getting enough of a nose. It hasn't, you know, the the first two varietals, the first two uh, expressions, the nose was very prominent. Right away, you could you could smell it. Wow, that's nice. Mm hmm. It's very nice. Hmm. Got some nuts. There's a, a little mint. A little mint. A little mint. I'm I'm not getting chocolate, but I got chocolate in the nose. Okay. It's got beautiful legs. Um, I get the I get the impression that after having all three of these in in succession that they intentionally wanted to look like they got three different types of tequila. Uh, I, I know you said you mentioned in the Blanco that it was kind of a little bit yeasty. Mm -hmm. What I'm wondering is, uh, and, and we're not sure, we, we, it doesn't say so in their, in their POS or on their website, uh, it could be that they're using a different type of yeast for each of the, uh, each of the varietals. I'm, I'm not sure. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of, uh, it's more labor intensive. 
but the fact that it comes from 1414. Um, legendary tequila uh, producers, uh, Vivanco and, and family and asociados. Um, it gets progressively better. Yes. Now, um, I'm, I'm personally disappointed in the fact that the, the Añejo has um, uh, a very limited, uh, muted um, nose. But, you know what else? Uh, and, I, and I know, I, for, for me personally, this would be a really great cigar, uh, Añejo. Um, a digestif after dinner. Mm -hmm. um, I, I wish I could get more of a nose from it, though, because it really delivers. It's the opposite. It's like the nose, the, the flavor delivers more than the nose does. And that could be just our bottle. Um, you know, it could be this just this poor I I doubt it but there's a there's a there's a really good uh, um, there's a really good spiciness to it that I really enjoy but you're gonna have to get bad if, if for this poor for us personally here at this moment you'll have to get past the poor because it's not going to be as aromatic as, as the the silver and the reposado you you, you won't get it not in the Añejo, but don't let that stop you. Okay? Don't let it stop you. Um, I think that there's a, there's a lot of merit in, in, in this, in this Añejo. But it, but it, it's like three different tequilas. I agree. It's not even as sweet smelling as the Reposado. I think the Reposado had a lot more sweetness to it, a lot more honey and caramel, and this is more, of a tobacco, more of a, more of a, um, um, a leathery, 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 leathery. And yes, we spend our time chewing on leather. <laughs> you, you do. Yeah, know. well, you know, that's only when they, you know, when they pry the bullet out of my back. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's a, it's a good, it's a bird on you. Yeah, you, you need to get past, get past the nose. Don't let the nose stop you. The fact that there isn't much of a nose, go for it, because it actually it, it delivers more. It's like it it's like it uh, under promises over delivers, in my opinion. And and it really is like three different varietals. So take your pick: silver, reposado, añejo. I think for me, I think the 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 the, the star of the whole show was the reposado yeah. for me. Um, but you decide. You. Watch the video, answer on, on YouTube, answer on our website, answer on Facebook. You will you'll you can find us. Do it on Twitter. We do it a lot on Twitter, uh, in case you didn't know that. I do know that. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> but, you we're know. All the, we're all over the place. Yeah, right? we're all over the place. We're like a virus. We're here, we're there, we're everywhere. Uh, but De La Riva, definitely pick it up. Um, it has surprised, all three of these have surprised me. And, and Alex has made us work. Yeah, we, don't make us work. <laughs> they made us you know, work. But, oh, but do yourself a favor. Find someone else to write your POS. All right? Just, just saying. <laughs> just, just saying. All right? Being honest. I'm Mike Morales. I'm Alex Perez. You're watching Sipping Off the Cuff. We've been tasting De La Riva, De La Riva Añejo, and actually pretty good. Go out and get yourself some. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>